So now we need to do the extraction as we did before. Invert it, open, shake a little, open, shake more, open, then put it back on the ring stand. And again, as I said, we need to rinse the stopper. And put the stopper on the Kim wipe. Let the layers separate. We have the bottom aqueous layer, the top organic layer. Organic layer has our acid component there now. So you want to drain the bottom aqueous layer out, give it a couple of minutes and then drain the aqueous layer. We do not want to collect the aqueous layer so it can go in the waste container. Lower as the layer demarcation approaches the Teflon. Stop cock. Stop it. What do I need to do now? Remember we have to dry this layer. So the same two step procedure that we did with our organic layer. We are going to rinse this first with sodium chloride. 15 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride. So take about 15 milliliters in the graduate cylinder that was labeled sodium chloride and add it to the sub funnel and do the extraction. So and then we will dry it over the solid drying reagent as we did before. I have taken 15 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride solution. I'm going to add it to the sub funnel. Pour it into the sub funnel. Same procedure again. Put the stopper. Release the pressure. Shake it a little. Release the pressure. Shake it a little more. Release the pressure. And continue. Just a few moments for everything to drain back into the sub funnel. Put the sub funnel back. Rinse the stopper. And wait for the layers to separate. Now that the layers have separated, we are going to drain the bottom aqueous layer into the waste container. As was the case before, you, it may be difficult for you to see the separation of the layer till it goes down. So do not panic. As it starts coming down here you can see it and then you stop it at that point okay and now the first step of the drying was done what we want to do is drain this into a dry Erlenmeyer flask where you are going to dry it over this sodium sulfate salt as we did before.